are on the cusp of a colossal occasion. A semi-final encounter here at the Euros. And the nerves must surely be jangling. Who will come out on top? This is EA TV. to have the pleasure of your company and welcome to our coverage of this semi-final here at the 2024 UEFA European Championship. My name is Derek Ray here in the commentary position and sitting next to me providing all the tactical analysis is Stuart Robson. Keen anticipation ahead of this colossal encounter. It's Germany. Will it be? And that's a very good parry. Musiala. Here's the starting lineup for Germany. Manuel Neuer stands between the posts. Jonathan Tarr plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defense. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. Gundogan couldn't grab hold of it. Aware of the threat, solving the problem. He continues his run. And the starting lineup for Denmark. Kasper Schmeichel stands between the posts. Yannick Vestergaard plays with Andreas Christensen in central defense. Christian Eriksen plays alongside Pierre Emil Hoybier in central midfield. And so many different ways to configure an attack. In this case, it'll be two men up front. A big moment here, Derek. Closing down well. Close. Not covering up defensively. it short Gundogan Rudiger long way out superb block Mele well, they're on the scent of something positive but it fizzles out thanks to that piece of defending. Well, Kai Havertz brings so many positive qualities to the football pitch. Interested to know what you think we might see from him in this match. Well, it's his ability with the ball at his feet that makes him such a good player. He can go past defenders with ease, he can play in tight areas, and he has that bit of trickery as well. I'm really looking forward to seeing him play today. Danger here as he runs at them. The cross is on. And overcame the ball from the flank, but dealt with in the end. Excellent defending. Gundogan. Ilkay Gundogan. Well, it's a good-looking position. Is there a goal in the future? But really sticking to their task defensively. Have no interest in losing possession. And that'll be a Germany throw. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Well, full marks for getting past him. But stout defending when it mattered. Best 
Østegård. Jonas Vint. Denmark with the ball again. Rudiger. It's with Gundogan. Kai Havertz. Germany unable to hang on to the ball. Mele. And options in the centre. And he tried in vain to get himself back onside. Well, he needs to show greater awareness there and hold on to the ball a fraction longer. Now with Kimmich. Musiala. And what can they do to stop him running at them? Cross. Now Gundogan. Timely intervention. Rasmus Hoylund. Mele. opportunity to make it 1-0 right at the start of this contest oh what a chance to open the score in there they have to do better than that Maximilian Mitterstedt Possession lost by Germany. Christian Eriksen now. Jonas Vint. And return to Eriksen. Chance to cross. Eriksen. And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. Taken by Christian Eriksen, and the danger still on. Oh, body in the way, crucially. for the short corner Fabien great defending well, relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead but then the one that fails to hit its target Florian Wirtz this is Kroos He wasn't going to let that go. a good challenge to bring that attack to an end how can he take them on and beat them 
Oh, good looking run. And that will be a corner. Over from Ericsson, still not clear. An alert piece of defending. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And he does produce the yellow card. Yeah, and it certainly deserved a yellow. It's a poor challenge, you have to say. Well, he could really get at the opposition. But the danger averted for now. Rasmus Hoylund. Eriksson. Determined defending. Jamal Musiala. Rudiger. It's with Gundogan. Disappointing for Germany to give it away in that fashion. And teammates around him. Well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Alexander Bach. Big chance at that, Derek. He should have put them in the driving seat there. Gundogan. Viertz. Good move in the making from Germany. Kai Havertz. It might be the moment to get them ahead. And there it is! The first goal in the semi-final! A huge moment! Extraordinary scenes! He's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Bar and Christensen. Care. On the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. Possession one. Ericsson. Good technique display. Trying to craft something. Oh, fine stop. Well, that was a great save. But the way they're playing at the moment, the equaliser can't be far away now. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Well, it's a really poor challenge. Now, what's the referee going to do about it? And that is going to mean a caution. The referee is absolutely right. He knew what he was doing there.
released it nicely. And both hands on it. Good goalkeeping. And Denmark struggling to keep it. Rudiger. Tony Kroos. Well, far from the ideal pass. Christian Eriksen now. Vestergaard. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Well, goal kick, just as it was looking promising. Manuel Neuer. It's with Gundogan. Havertz. Jamal Musiala. And Germany recovering possession well. Ta. chance maybe from the wide position crossing opportunity fine tackle there to prevent a chance Tony Kroos possession lost by Germany Tony Kroos. And Denmark doing well to regain possession. Looking for the right angle. Oh, good play this. That's how it looked, but full credit to him for atoning for the error. Might be a chance to break. Touchline for what will be a Germany throw in. Gundogan. And Denmark come away with it. It's with Gundogan. Maximilian Mittelstedt. Christian Eriksen now. Christian Nurgard and Hoybier with it well no point in stopping play advantage with them this could be the equaliser the crossbar got in the way well no damage done Musiala Joshua Kimmich Andri Spraying passes around, almost waiting for the opposition to make a mistake. Tony Kroos. And it's with Mittelstedt. Well, wasteful from Denmark. Toilund. Mele. Plenty of scope for them to attack. Eriksson. Well, going for power from there. Not worrying the goalkeeper in the slightest.
Gundogan. Toni Kroos. A failure to keep the ball on Germany's part. Trebier. Eriksson. And Kimmy couldn't keep it. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Florian Wirth. Tony Kroos. Running with the ball confidently. Well, it came to nothing in the end. And after that run while in possession, a corner kick has been given. Have it back now. He could pick out a teammate. It might be. And a goal to square the game. End of the tea stuff. the replay he does well to find that bit of space in the box and then he shows a lot of composure to finish it off that's a good goal Back underway, one goal apiece here. Musiala. And they need to get tighter. Kimmy. Andri. Has a go. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlight reel. for the short one Gundogan the supporters want to see him have a go really fine piece of defending play to break it up this looks promising out wide could cross it in here oh that's a super piece of defending is Kroos really good interception a meaty but fair challenge and it will be a throw in Ericsson Shaping to shoot. Right, reflex action from Neuer.
who's going to get on the end of it. Punched away. Musiala. Now with Havertz. Andri. It is a decent looking attack here, but a good piece of defending to bring it to an end. A bit of running room now on the wing. Oh, managing to beat him. A good and fair challenge. Florian Beard. And it's with Mittelstedt. Tony Kroos. Gundogan. Good technique displayed. Kimmich. Here's Havertz. Gundogan. Oh, that surely had to go in, but marvellous defending. A chance to nudge in front. Corner kick here. away completely and a time for calm on the ball and so it is the first half story has been written So back underway, and an intriguing second half in prospect. Kimmy. Determined defending. Christensen. Germany doing well to regain possession. Moving into the advanced position. Jamal Musiala. Attack carried an initial threat, but fizzled out. Christian Nurgard. Rasmus Hoylund. And in the right position to read it. Gundogan in position here to protect the ball. Close. Pretty simple for the keeper. just wasn't going to give that ball away and relying very much on their passing game in a bid to take the lead and that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger Florian Beard Germany struggling to keep hold of it that's a good pass but how well he did to react in that manner. Oh, a body in the way, crucially. The referee spotted the little nick on the way through, so a throw-in coming up. He continues his run, but nothing comes of it. Kimmich. This is Kroos. 
Kai Havertz. Waste ball from Germany. Rasmus Hoylund. And threading it through. Wow! It's a short one, and defensive play to be applauded. Viet. Really sitting deep now, that could be problematic. Now this could be productive, and nothing comes of this attack. Well, he certainly caught all of that. That was never going to trouble the keeper in the end. Goal kick it is. Rasmus Hoylund. They need to get tighter but really sticking to their task defensively. Gundogan. Kimmich. Andri. It's with Gundogan. Sloppy in possession from Germany. And teammates around him. This could be troublesome. Great defending. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Kai Havertz. Maximilian Mittelstedt. It's with Gundogan. Tony Kroos. Kroos. Havertz. And a squandered opportunity there. And a substitution in the offing. Error from the keeper. Will they seize on it? looking position you've got to say and a chance to whip it in here he fancies it a routine save Andri Gundogan opportunity it is Well, as you can see, what a good bit of play this is. The build-up is excellent. One and two touch passing, clever movement, and a fairly simple finish. Great team goal. And the ball is moving again. Anyone's guess how this is going to finish? 2-1 currently. Morten Hulman and Christensen Alexander Bach Trevier a time for goal determined defending trailing as they are they must make good use of this corner short one 
super piece of defending. Not giving them time to breathe. That's great pressing. And the attacking options appear plentiful. And we're into the final half hour. Fast. Well, full marks for getting past him. And to play it goes. He was under a bit of pressure. And they will make the change now. And B. It's with Gundogan. Well, when you're leading, you can afford to be pass happy. Perfect challenge. And the advantage accrues to the attacking side. Fabier. Here's Nurgard. Moving into the advanced position. And he's broken free. Couldn't grab hold of it. That is how to keep it out of the net. Well, still behind here, but only due to some incredible goalkeeping. Surely it's only a matter of time if they keep piling on the pressure like this. Not unlucky, perhaps, to be denied, but they've now got to think about defending. Nicely timed tackle. Schulman. Here's Christensen. Bar. Well, he's certainly not alone. Now, who can he pick out? What an important piece of defending. The defenders, though, you can't really allow space like that. teammate and support and defensive play to be applauded Christian Nurgard Joshua Kimmich and Havertz Wirtz a promising avenue of attack but the momentum has been halted you wouldn't be surprised to see the card handed out well the card is out and it's yellow yeah it's clumsy and it's late definitely a yellow card both managers deciding this is the time to change things around both teams going to the bench here for Germany to extend the lead well opting for the short corner Gross now with Gunduan Possession and patience, the watchwords. He's taken on his opponent here. And behind it's gone for a corner. Short it is. Rose. Now with Gunduan. In it goes! It just gets better and better for them. Another goal. And they can truly dream of the final now. Well, 
Well, this is a brilliant strike, as you can see. He hits it with so much power, the keeper had no chance. Fantastic finish. So back underway, 3-1 the score. Pascal Gross. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Well, doesn't have to do it on his own. Well, it came to nothing in the end. Into the final 20 minutes. Maximilian Mitterstedt. Well read to ease the pressure. Rasmus Hoilund. Jamal Musiala. Gundogan. Florian Wirth. Well, he's lost the ball. Racing forward, trying to catch them out. Maximilian Mitterstedt. Well, they're almost inviting them to come at them. Just can't get it past him. Good example of pressing without the ball. Mele. This looks promising out wide. The cross is on. Wonderful block. One block after another. Kimmich. Musiala. He's very adept at protecting the ball. Gundogan. Determined defending. Hoylund. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Firing it in. Just couldn't get it through. And a foul in the opinion of the referee. Now, what can they do from this free kick situation? Well, both teams have had substitutes swarming up, and now both will rely on their respective benches. And you've got to say, meat and drink to those in the wall. A corner will ensue. comes well capable of a better clearance than that well a deft clearance corner conceded Short corner taken, using his physical strength to shield it. Bar. Takes aim. Well, somehow the goalkeeper got to it. Can he deliver it with accuracy? And in a crowded area, the keeper has managed to get there. And that 
that's an important intervention. Really fine play to keep possession. Christian Nurgard. Schulman. Germany have possession once more. Well, he's got past his man. Chance to play it in. Timely intervention. He's found a pocket of space. As you can see, he's given far too much space, but he still had some work to do, and I think that's a very tidy finish. It was never in doubt. underway and a glut of goals here 3-2 Pascal Gross this is Müller now possibilities in the centre and still pressing it's a perfect challenge can he finish them all Still possibilities. Danger averted for now. Kea. Christian Nurgard. Mikael Damsgaard. They've regained possession. Pascal Gross. This is Müller. Can he take the chance? Well, they've got to hope that won't come back to haunt them. A golden opportunity squandered. Well, that should have sealed the victory. It's a real waste, I have to say. Possession seeded by Denmark. Germany using width to good effect here. Beard. Mele. We might very well have late excitement here. Five minutes to go and just one goal between them. Determined defending. A really effective shielding under pressure. Jamal Musiala. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Well, he went strongly in for the challenge, and the result is a throw in. Kimmich. Kimmich now with Gross another goal from his corner would in all likelihood secure a victory and deciding to go short with this one Rudiger. A oh, tremendous block. Damsgaard. On the ball, Yannick Vestergaard. How oh, can they turn one of these attacks into a goal? Options in the middle. And he cuts in from the wing. Oh, did so well to deny him. 
And play halted, free kick given. Pascal Gross. This is Müller. And it's Müller finding forward gears. Beers. Able to close down the shot. A routine save. Rasmus Hoylund. And the referee has decided to add on a minimum of five minutes. Schulman. Here's Nurgard. How can they find a late leveller? Making a bit of headway. the final opportunity to draw level and over it comes well not the best clearance Here it is again, and all you can do is admire the skill. That's a really clever goal, you have to say. And level again here. This has been quite the roller coaster ride. Kimmich. On the ball, Rudiger. Andri. His determination there for all to see. And possession given away. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. Chance to cross. Kimmich. That is a very fine challenge in difficult circumstances. And after the cross, a tremendous block. It is a decent looking attack here. Electing to shoot. Oh, off the post. Still alive. And a goal it is. But offside is the verdict. Well, it's a good finish, but he was just offside. Great decision by the assistant. Is that after 90 minutes they are level and extra time is coming up well the ball rolling again no end to the action it's the first period of extra time and I must say this has been a back and forth type of game
able to skip past his man. That's well blocked. Teammate available, and that was goalkeeping right out of the top drawer. It's absolutely remarkable. His reflexes were brilliant there. They take it short. Pulls it back. Missed the goal. And well, there was impending danger, but good defending. Chris Fury. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Well, sadly, they just couldn't keep possession. Chance to play it in. Superbly read and executed. Play and just look how quickly they break forward once they win the ball back and then what a finish that's been hit with such power and pace the keeper has no time to react it's a brilliant strike to God. Into the advanced position. Housen. Well, the keeper had plenty to think about with bodies around him. Hülkrug. Here's Gross. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Thomas Müller. score from there that's a wasted opportunity he should beat the keeper from that sort of distance let's see about the delivery well, the goalkeeper made it look as though there was no pressure on him whatsoever Germany with the ball again.
Thomas Müller in control of the situation. Might work out. Oh, could be a chance. Well, what a stop it was. Well, I have to say, that's a magnificent save. That's a top-class piece of goalkeeping. short this looks promising reading it well excellent defending nail it Morten Hulman well that's common sense refereeing to play advantage nail it Could be troublesome. No problems for the keeper. And the referee blows the whistle. It is a free kick. Really fine play to keep possession. Vestergaard. Defended it well. Powerson. Well, no danger now. Morten Hulman. Well, still searching for the equaliser, but not passing it anxiously. But then the one that goes astray. Kimmich. Here's Füllkrug. Just wasn't going to part with the ball. Gives it a go! A goal! He's dispatched it! Much to the sheer delight of the fans! Well, here it is again. He goes past his marker so easily with just a drop of the shoulder. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of pace, lots of power, and the keeper just can't react in time. It's a great strike. scoreline we see all that often 5-3 well, taking into account all the stoppages, 3 minutes to be added on Mele well that's how to put in a clean tackle this attack looks highly promising the kind of shielding play you expect from him plenty of running room in the wide position and teammates to play it to danger still on Powerson still could be dangerous well no way through in the end Hülkrug. Jonathan Ta has it. First period of extra time completed. 15 minutes left, and then it's a penalty shootout.
Well, extra time continues. We're into the second period now. And using his strength to shield the ball. And possession given away. No degree of difficulty at all for the keeper. Christian Nurgard. Damsgaard. Alexander Bach. Schulman. Doing well to keep possession. But just like that, possession changes hands. Pascal Gross. Andy. This is Müller. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Pausen. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. to finish that but credit to the goalkeeper that's a brilliant stop Damsgaard Hoylund Mikael Damsgaard Kerr has it Christian Nurgaard Getting to shoot. Oh, that's sizzling from Neuer in goal. Pascal Gross. Bad challenge, and now it's up to the referee in terms of what to do next. And following the infringement, a caution. Yeah, no surprise there. That was always going to be a booking. Nico Schlotterbeck Chris Fury well that's the sign of a well organised defence and the counter looks on here options available chances on and there it is all in the melting pot now and what a finale we could have in store for us. Well, here it is again, and it's all about the pace in transition. They're so quick to get out from the back, and when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. I'd have to go back quite a few years to remember the last time I covered a game with a scoreline of 5-4. Well, racing.
Racing past his man. What's he going to do here? Muda. Really fine play to keep possession. Misfiring completely. Mikael Damsgaard. Late in the game here, and they know what they've got to do. Opportunity it is. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. No nonsense clearance. Ball retention, so important. Well, it was straight at the keeper, but technically good goalkeeping. Well, how close was that? Will they get another chance to get this equaliser? Time's running out on them now. Well, having been denied by the woodwork, now the focus is on keeping the opposition at bay. Too many sloppy in possession here. Christian Nurgard. Powerson. Well, how on earth did Manuel Neuer get there? Well, there it is. I'm not sure what all the fuss was about. It wasn't even close in the end. Who's going to get on the end of it? Sound piece of defending. And it'll be a throw for Denmark. Mikael Damsgaard. And nicely over the top. Simple save, really. Thomas Müller. And forward they go, chasing the game. And time for goal. And the keeper more than equal to it. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? away completely interception to snuff out the danger good physical play who can he pick out corner here and that might boost their hopes and putting fade to the danger and the referee felt he had to blow the whistle eyes for goal and not enough subtlety about that free kick I'm afraid oh no stop again he's got to have a go here Goalkeeper getting in the way. Superb save. Needs 
to tread carefully. Can he play it in? always going to be tight but they just about had enough energy and quality in that extra time to take them through to the final yes there'll be some tired legs out there but they won't care about that what a final we've got in store for us